Welcome to Lightspeed's video support. I'm Matt, here to show you how to set up your smart terminal with printer, also known as the Castle's S1 F2. Connect it to your network and add it to your Lightspeed Restaurant K-Series back office. It's important that you only use the terminal supplied to you by Lightspeed, because any terminal obtained from a third party won't be configured for your account and could be a security risk. If you need more detailed troubleshooting or setup instructions, visit the link in the description for the Smart Terminal with Printer article on our Help Center. Before we get started, make sure you have everything you need. In the box, you should find your Smart Terminal with Printer, the USB charging and power cable, and a roll of receipt paper. By default, the terminal is set up to use a Wi-Fi connection. To inquire about adding standalone mode on Wi-Fi or 4G to your account, please reach out to your account manager or one of our dedicated sales representatives. For this video, we will be using Wi-Fi. Let's start by inserting the paper roll into the terminal. At the top of the terminal, there's a paper roll compartment with the tap icon on it. Look for the three lines on either side of the terminal and press on the lines to open the paper roll cover. Insert the paper roll with the paper coming from beneath the roll, like this. Confirm the receipt paper is placed correctly in the compartment and pull out a length of the paper. The paper should face the tap icon. Now, close the compartment with the edge of the roll sticking out. Now, we are going to plug in and power on your terminal. On the left side of the terminal, open the large flap to reveal the terminal's ports. Insert one end of the USB charging cable into the terminal and the other end into the power adapter. Then, plug the adapter into a wall outlet. The terminal must charge for a minimum of four hours the first time it is plugged in. To power on the terminal, press and hold the power button located on the left side of the terminal until the Adyen logo comes on screen. Your terminal will boot up and prompt you to set up your Wi-Fi. Select your network from the list of available networks. Then, enter your Wi-Fi password. Then, hit Connect. After a brief moment, the terminal will return you to the list of networks with your network marked Connected. Now, hit the Back button on the bottom of the screen and return to the main page. Here, you'll be prompted to select your store, which should be pre-configured on your device. Tap the blue check mark to confirm. At this point, the terminal may begin to run updates and could restart several times during the process. Let it finish running updates. This process could take up to 20 minutes to complete. After updating, the terminal will load up the home screen where you will see the Lightspeed logo. You are now ready to process transactions with the terminal. Now let's go to the back office and confirm the network connection. When Lightspeed sends you your terminal, we also configure the connection between your Lightspeed restaurant account and your Lightspeed Payments account. To save you time, we also add your payment terminal to your back office. Sign in and go to Configuration, Hardware, Payment Terminals to view this information. If you have other terminals configured, they will also be listed here. If your terminal doesn't appear in your back office, I'll show you how to add it manually. If Lightspeed added your terminal for you, skip to the Configuration section of the video. To get started, click Add New Terminal and fill in these four fields. The first field is the terminal name. You can enter whatever will help you identify your terminal, such as Front Counter or Left Register. For this video, we'll name it Smart Terminal with Printer. Next is Terminal Type. Click the drop-down and select Lightspeed Payments Add Yen. Now, enter your terminal's IP address. You can also change this information if your terminal is already in the back office. To find your terminal's IP address, tap Settings on the home screen of your terminal. Tap Device Info and you will find the IP address along with other device information. Finally, we have the Terminal ID. Terminal ID must be entered in the following format. Model dash serial number with no hyphens in the serial number. To find the serial number for your terminal, start by tapping Settings, and then tap Device Info. The serial number is listed first. For this example, we'll enter S1F2, 
dash zero 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 one five eight two two four three zero three two two four lastly you could check this box which gives the option for credit card receipts to be printed from the terminal once you're ready click save and the terminal will be added to your back office before we run a test transaction let's confirm that your terminal is connected to your pos in your back office go to configuration devices devices you should see your pos listed here click on the name or edit you can visit this page to configure your pos in the back office for this video we'll focus on the payment terminal section click the drop down and select your terminal any other terminals added to your back office can be selected as backups when you're done scroll down and click update now let's run a test transaction on the POS to ensure that your terminal is functioning properly. You may need to have a floor plan created in your back office to associate the order with a table. For more information on floor plans, click the link in the description. First, reload the configuration on your POS. Go to Settings, Control Center, and click Reload Device. Now you're ready to run the test transaction. On your POS, select Tables and choose one of the tables in your floor plan. Then, place an order. Keep in mind that this payment will process on your card, but you can refund it later. When you're done, tap Pay at the bottom of the screen. Select the credit card with the Lightspeed logo under Payment Methods. You can also toggle if you want the receipt to print, and tap Pay. If you have multiple terminals connected, your POS will prompt you to select one. Finally, your terminal will prompt you to add a tip. Select an amount or tap No Tip. Then swipe, insert, or tap your card. A confirmation message will appear on your terminal and your POS will confirm that the payment is approved. This means your terminal is set up and ready to process payments. Then, you can return the test transaction and refund the amount to your card. If the payment doesn't process, First, confirm that your terminal and iPad are connected to the same network. If both devices are on the same Wi-Fi and you're still having issues processing payments, you may have a DNS connection issue. On your iPad, go to Settings, Wi-Fi, and then tap the information icon next to your connected network. Scroll down to Configure DNS. If your DNS is set to automatic, switch it to manual. Now we'll edit your DNS servers. You should see two fields. If you only see one field, tap the Add Server button. In the first field, enter 8.8.8.8. In the second field, enter 8.8.4.4. This will ensure a secure connection between your POS and payment terminal. When you're done, make sure to tap Save. And that's it. You are now ready to process payments for your customers. If you have any questions, view the links in the video description or visit our K-Series Help Center.